In this video, we'll learn about the Clipart library and how we can use that to access the symbols and artwork that come with the fonts that are installed on our computer. And so to get started, we're going to visit uh, a new empty design. And the tools are found under your Tools drop-down menu where it says Clipart Library. And this is where we have the option for Insert Clipart or Create New Clipart. And we'll start with Insert Clipart. And when I choose Insert Clipart, a Clipart Library selection window opens. And the first thing you can do is just see that there are images of the designs. Each design has a name, tells you what size it is intended to be, and tags for like common keywords that could be used to search for those designs. And you can even use a, the name box to filter or the tags box to filter. So if you knew that you wanted, you know, one way is going to be to click and drag and or click with your wheel. Hmm scroll the wheel on your mouse to browse through or click on these arrows to browse through the different options in your clip art library if you want to select one and use it then you simply click on that clip art and choose insert and then left click and drag to insert the clip art onto your screen let's look at it again tools clip art library insert clip art and so if you know that you want to use a clip art of a bear you could search for the name bear b-e-a-r and it brings you to the word bear within the name category or you could try using a filter in here for example flower f-l-o-w-e-r flower and it will bring me to the f any designs that have flower as their um, tag or their keyword I guess now if I like this flower notice the green arrow it shows me the orientation for when I click and drag of course I can click and drag in any direction but in relationship to the flower for example if I choose this flower whatever direction I click and drag will become the bottom and the top of the flower so I'll go ahead and choose that one and say insert and show you if I click and drag straight up and down, my flower will be made straight up and down. If I click and drag from left to right, oh, I guess I'd have to do it again, sorry. In tools, clip art library, insert clip art. The selection window comes up, so we'll look for a flower. Here's our flowers again. Where's the exact same one? Well, it doesn't matter, but it was this one I think it was anyway say insert but the point is if I click and drag to the side the flower goes whatever direction from the orientation point and we can see that when we're looking in the clip art library on their little icons it always shows where the green line is that you will use as the path to draw that clip art and so in the way of the clicking and dragging we can control not only the orientation of where that clip art will sit but how big it actually gets created now of course once we've created our clip art it's like any other element of embroidery you can use your selection tool to move its location or resize it or stretch it or rotate it as you like but the insert symbol tool or sorry insert clip art tools found under the tools Clip art library, insert clip art. Now let's look at how you can create your own clip art to add to the clip art library. And so, what you would need to have done as you would have wanted, let's say that we created something that we really wanted to save. And so, maybe I'll click on a new empty design workspace, choose the ellipse tool. And create a small ellipse that has just a solid color and why don't we turn it into a small flower by using the circular array tool and let's turn the contour steps down on this to zero and let's zoom in on this a little bit so we can see a little bit closer 
and see if we can't make this look like some kind of a flower or something like that. And so if you created something such as this and you loved it and you wanted to keep it and have it for use at a future time, then you could choose Tools, Clip Art Library, and Create Clip Art. And so it captures our little flower. And before we can give it a name, I need to, to, to tell it where will that orientation line be. And so the next two clicks that I make are going to define that. And if I click here from left to right, then that's the way the orientation would go. I could choose you know, straight up you know, from bottom to top or from top to bottom or across the diagonal, anything you want. So if I go left to right, and then let go. Now I've created the clip art. And before we can kind of finalize it, it wants me to give it a name and tags. So we'll just come in here and call it Flower Trev. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And in here, what um, Flower Trev, what tags would it get? Well, flowers, and that's it. So now we've created it, I can select it and choose insert, and I click and drag to create another copy of our same little flower. So that is how you can use your clip art library to save elements or entire embroidery designs to quickly reuse them at a later time using your clip art library.